Ukraine's counterattack took the Russian army by surprise. On the outskirts of Kyiv, a Russian convoy was ambushed by Ukrainian artillery, causing serious damage. In the direction of Zaporoz High, Ukrainian forces destroyed a Russian convoy. About 60 military vehicles and some armored vehicles were removed. The Ukrainian armed forces also shot down a Russian Ka-52 helicopter and damaged another of the same type. Meanwhile, the latest update of British Ministry of Defense Intelligence said that the Russian army was greatly surprised by the size and fierce resistance of the Ukrainian armed forces. According to a senior U.S. defense official, the Russian armed forces are currently continuing to be buried on almost all fronts in Ukraine after more than three weeks of conducting a special military operation, despite the fact that the armed forces of the Russian Federation are still struggling. The Russian team launched more than 1,080 missiles at a series of targets. The Russian military has made great efforts to encircle the capital Kyiv from three directions, but they still cannot make any significant changes from the north or northwest, the U.S. official said. At the same time, the official said, and in the east of Kyiv, we observe no movement of the Russian armed forces. They are still trapped about 30 kilometers east of the city center. The Ukrainian army is still fiercely protesting, causing Russia heavy losses. For example, their fire attack on Kherson airfield caused unprecedented damage to the Russian air force. In addition, the ambushes destroyed many Russian armored convoys and logistics vehicles. In cities near the border with Belarus and Russia, such as Chernihiv or Kharkiv, the Ukrainian armed forces continued to fight. And in Mariupol, a strategic port city in the south, despite being bombarded by Russian bombs and bullets, Ukrainian forces were still determined to seize every building, every street corner. The U.S. defense official said, we assess that Ukraine's airspace has not yet been locked down by Russia. The Ukrainian Air Force continues to operate, fighter jets take off regularly, and air defense missile complexes are still regularly deployed fire. It is estimated that the Russian army has mobilized up to 90% of its usable combat capacity. The U.S. will deliver 3,000 man portable air defense missiles, including 800 Stinger missiles and 2,000 Javelin anti-tank missiles. In addition, 1,000 light anti-armor weapons, 6,000 VT-4 anti-tank systems, and 100 UAV switchblade systems will also be provided to the Kyiv government.